The Fisherman and His Wife One day when the sea was blue and calm, a poor fisherman set off to work. At first he caught nothing and was about to call it a day when he felt a tug on his line. His catch pulled hard as he struggled to wind it in. This must be a very big fish, he thought. The fish was enormous and the fisherman was very pleased. But his pleasure turned to astonishment when the fish spoke to him. Please throw me back, pleaded the fish. I am not really a fish at all, but an enchanted prince. The stung fisherman put the fish back into the water and set off for home. The fisherman and his wife were so poor that they lived in a pigsty. When he told his wife about the talking fish, she was angry with him. You fool, she said. No wonder that we are so poor if you can't see a good thing when it's biting you on the nose. The fisherman's wife told him that if the fish was an enchanted prince, he should have asked for something in return for setting him free. Go back to the same spot tomorrow and catch that fish again. And this time ask him for a little cottage so we can live a better life, said the fisherman's wife. The next morning when the sea was green and choppy, the fisherman set off again. He rode out to the same spot as the day before, hoping to see the magical fish. Enchanted prince, please hear my plea. Jump out from the water and talk to me, called the fisherman. The fish appeared and asked the fisherman why he had called him. The fisherman explained that he was a very poor man and would like to live in a little cottage instead of a pigsty. Go home, said the fish. Your wish is granted. And he left with a splish. So the fisherman returned to his wife, who waved to him from the window of the lovely new cottage. The fisherman's wife was happy for a little while, but soon became discontented again. I think we could have asked for more from that magic fish, she told her husband one evening. This is only a small cottage. A castle would be much better. And she begged her husband to go and find the magic fish and ask him to grant her wish. The next morning, when the sea was purple and rough, the fisherman set off again and rode out to the same spot as before. Enchanted prince, please hear my plea. Jump out from the water and talk to me, called the fisherman. The fish appeared, although he didn't seem to be very happy about being called again. The fisherman explained that his wife found the cottage rather small and would prefer to live in a castle. Go home, said the fish. Your wish is granted. And he left with a splash. So the fisherman returned to his wife who waved to him from the window of a grand castle. But the fisherman's wife wanted even more. If that fish can give us a grand castle, he can make me a queen, 
she said. The next morning, when the sea was grey and smelly, the fishermen set off again and rowed out to the same spot as before. Enchanted prince, please hear my plea. Jump out from the water and talk to me, called the fisherman. The fish appeared, not at all pleased to be called again. The fisherman explained that his wife now wanted to be a queen. Go home, said the fish. Your wish is granted. And he left with a splosh. So the fisherman returned to his wife, who was now a queen. If that fish can make me a queen, then he can make me the whole ruler of the whole world, said the fisherman's wife. The next day, when the sea was black and stormy, the fisherman set off again and rode out to the same spot as before. Enchanted prince, please hear my plea. Jump out from the water and talk to me, called the fisherman. The fish appeared and he was furious. The fisherman explained that his wife now wanted to be the ruler of the whole world. Go home, said the fish. Your wife has what she deserves. And he left with a splish, splash, splosh. So the fisherman returned to his wife who was living in the pig's tea again.